Ahoy hoy, it is Trevor from Plateau Astro and I'm recording this uh, in summer 2024. And the last few months we've had a lot of Aurora that we've been able to see. And I've been getting a lot of questions from people asking, hey, is tonight a good night to go and chase the Aurora? Can you tell me about uh, any smartphone apps or a website that'll tell me when the Aurora is gonna come? So this uh, video is gonna be a quick and dirty crash course into how you can maybe predict if the Aurora is gonna come and a little crash course into some of the terminology that you're gonna see uh, once you go to these websites or use some of these, these, these apps. At the end, I might give a few other tips for seeing the Aurora. I'm not an expert in this, but I'll leave some uh, links down below to some people to follow on social media. They know a lot more than I do, but I figured this might be useful for some people. Um, there's lots of free Aurora apps out there, so I'm going to show one. I don't, you know, have you know uh, any big connection with any of these. I'm just showing some one of the free ones, and the things I'm going to show they probably apply to to most of them, just laid out with sort of in different ways. So. The app I'm gonna use here is called Aurora Alerts. It's free on Android and, and iOS. So I'm gonna open this up here. And the first time you open it, it's probably gonna ask for your location, just so it knows where you are on Earth. Um, and so on the bottom here, it's gonna show you a few different things. Short forecast, long forecast, graph, alerts, settings. Um, let's start with short forecast. So there's some stuff you can see here on this page, it's showing how much Aurora is overhead, how much is on the horizon. And right now, at this very moment, as I record this, it's 0%. You wouldn't be able to see any, any Aurora. Um, but those values change if there is Aurora on the horizon or, or over your head. Okay. Next, it shows some little fuel gauge looking thingies with like speed, BZ, density, BT. I'm not going to go too, too much on this just because uh, uh, this is a bit kind of advanced, and if you get deeper in, then you'll want to learn more about what these values actually mean. Have at her. Uh, but I'm going to focus on this value called KP value, okay? So KP is sort of a estimate, a measure of how far uh, from the North Pole uh, that we're going to see over the Aurora and how powerful they're, they're going to be. So it starts from zero and goes to nine. So KP zero to KP nine. So KP zero to two is kind of like not that powerful and you kind of need to be very high up, kind of around the North Pole, kind of like Yukon, Yellowknife area, and maybe you'll be able to, to, to see, see something there. Uh, KP three to five, you can be further from the poles and it'll be a little bit more brighter, a little bit more, more, more active. Uh, KP six and seven, that's where you're actually going to be like in, you know, Southern Canada, like Calgary and Vancouver and parts of Ontario and uh, parts of Manitoba. That's where you're going to see some of that. You're going to have a pretty good chance. Eight and nine is very, very powerful. And that is what we had back in May, 2024. We could even see it here in Montreal, when it, even with the naked eye, like in the middle of a light polluted city, you could, you could see that. Those are pretty rare, uh, but that, those are very sort of hopeful sort of moments. So back to this app here, it says right now, we're at a KP level of two right now. And in about an hour, well, it'll be KP, KP3. Um, so that's what those values sort of mean, is like how far away from the North Pole you could possibly see the Aurora. Um, so this page is really good for like short term, like in the next 30 minutes or so. But if you kind of want to know if in the next like half day, the next day, tomorrow, the day after, long forecast is what you kind of want to look at here. And so this shows it here using the same KP values, basically how strong it is, is going to be. So tonight it's going to be KP3, not really, you know, that powerful here in Montreal at least. But tomorrow, as we look down there, you start to see some of the red, okay? And it's, it's KP5, okay? Around like 8 to 11 p.m., midnight around there. That might be a, a chance to see the aurora. If you're kind of outside of the city in a dark sky area and maybe using a camera to get a long exposure and all that, you might have a chance to actually see them uh, if it is, is clear. So you're seeing some difference in the KP values here. Just for sort of historical clarity, back in May 2024 when we had that big outburst, I took some screenshots of what this app looked like. So just to show you what it can look like, this was back in May. And you can see red bars across the top here. You see some KP7s, KP8s, KP9s. And when values are that big, there's a really, really, really good chance you're probably going to see them if it's if it's clear and you're in a sort of a non-light polluted area. So that, that's context of what this, this can kind of look like. So back to the app here, the long forecast is good for like 
telling you in the next few days if we might get something, okay? And you can unlock different uh, forecasts and stuff here. I haven't done that. I haven't paid any money to these. They need to make money, so no, no shame uh, for these app creators for doing that, but I haven't needed to do that. So this is area, long forecast is good for like in the next few days type of thing. Short forecast is good if you're like decided, okay, I'm going to drive out, I'm going to get to a dark sky area, and you're sitting there in your car and you're like, okay, what's the, what's it like right now? What's it going to be like in the next half an hour? This is the page you, you want to be on for, for that. Okay, let's go to the graph, the graph area. This is probably going to show you a photo of either North Pole or South Pole. I'm in the North America here, so it's going to show that. So this shows North America and Europe, and you see that sort of green glow kind of over the poles. This tells you what's sort of the probability of there being aurora being visible in the next little while, looks like here, in the next 75 minutes or so. So it's kind of green, and in the bottom left it shows a little diagram there. So green is not very likely, yellow a bit more likely, orange better, and then red is like a very good chance that you're going to see it. So, you know, not looking like we're actually going to see any in the next next little little while here. So not much here. I'm going to show again that historical data from May uh, 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 back when we had that big outburst. So here is what it can look like like that. You see it's very, very red. High probability of seeing aurora. So you can even see down in the uh, Montreal area, it's like very green, it's yellow, it's even red there. And that's when we had that big that big outburst uh, right there. Here is some from the other day in uh, August, okay? I mean, some people, if they got outside the city, they could see some. So, so this graph is useful uh, as well uh, for telling you uh, when things are gonna happen. Also too, just gonna show uh, 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 what this can kind of look like uh, for KP values uh, from the short term here. This is again from May 11th, okay? It says KP9, okay? That. It still says 0% overhead, 1% horizon. Uh, it, that value can, can change, and so those numbers, 0% overhead, meaning they, it's right over your head, that can go up quite a bit, and I think I didn't take this at the right moment when it was overhead, but that value can go up uh, as well, and the horizon goes up as well. Okay, so that is just like a basic crash course into this particular particular app uh, right here. Uh, each app is going to do it a little bit differently, okay? And some apps have different alerts. You can sign up, get a subscription. It'll send you an alert for your area when you might have things. I haven't needed to do that. Maybe you want to try that out. Up to you. Other apps, Aurora Now, same type of information, um, just presented in different ways with different types of maps and all that. Uh, Aurora Forecast, again, there's a zillion of these on the App Store. You can go and, and, and try these out and look at the different ways that they display the data. So, um, yeah, so uh, right now we're sort of almost at the peak of seeing uh, Aurora like, like, like we are. Um, and the reason for this is that uh, Aurora's basically our coming from the sun, and the sun goes through a cycle, about an 11-year cycle, and we're almost at the peak of that. So right now is a good time to go and see Aurora. Uh, next year will probably also be pretty good, but in the years after that, it'll sort of dwindle and, and fade as the cycle sort of continues. Um, Aurora are not the easiest thing to, you to, to see. You need clear skies. You need to probably go to a dark sky area, honestly. Uh, you probably need a car to be able to also um, see some of these. Um, and the photos that you see, that's probably not gonna be indicative of what you're gonna see with the naked eye. Those are taken with cameras. And with those cameras, they do long exposure shots and that collects a lot more light than your eyes do. So just set your expectations that it can be difficult. It's late at night, usually around midnight or so that you gotta actually go out and kind of chase these. So they can be difficult, but it is very rewarding uh, when you actually do see it. So this is a big, just a short, short crash course into this. I could go a lot more in detail. I could go in a lot more detail on a lot of the numbers and stuff like that. But if you're totally new to this, hopefully this was a good intro to it. I'll have links below for some other uh, 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 creators, some other social media people that you could follow that know a lot more about this than I do. And I hope this was uh, useful for you. So thanks for watching.